in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you're welcome to another spirit filled message on fifty centric message if you're new to this channel I would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well I would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you your graces are going to be imparted unto you and then God is going to visit you always thank you for watching be blessed let the weight of your glory fall let it cover all the earth let the weight of your glory fall let it cover all the earth let it cover all Let it cover all the earth. Let it cover all the earth. Let it cover all. One more time. The Let the weight of your glory fall. Shalabaka sobranda gebele kosiata. going to shout seven hallelujah and at the seven shout listen this is an instruction that just came to me by the spirit you see the way of the spiritual man the Bible says the wind bloweth where it listeth you cannot tell where it is going nor where it is coming that is the pathway of one who is led by the Spirit. Many times God will give instructions that may not seem to make sense. But in the foolishness of the leadership of the Spirit is the breakthrough of the saints. Are we together now? The word hallelujah is broken in two. It's halal Yeshua. Praise the Lord. The Bible says praise ye the Lord to praise him in the firmament of his power. Every time you halal Yeshua, you will cause and compel according to scripture. It says, let God arise. The king rises with a shout. It says the shout of a king is in the midst of them. So the word hallelujah is not just a Christian chant. It is halal Yeshua. Do you know what it means to praise? To praise means to extol, to flaunt the quality of a man. That means when you say you are great, you are brilliant, it's like reading out the credential of that man. And the moment you begin to do that, you compel him to reproduce that thing again. So in saying hallelujah, it's a prophetic chant that means anything good about God. Hallelujah suffices to say you are great. Hallelujah suffices to say you are the warrior. Hallelujah suffices to say you are the lion of the tribe of Judah. Everything that makes him God is captured in that word. Halal Yeshua. We're going to shout it seven times. And very quickly, I want you to please bring those under the anointing. I truly believe like it was in Jericho. A city that was shot, nothing went in, nothing went out. At the seventh time, there was a shout and the Bible says the wall of Jericho, it went down and it sank. For someone, at the end of this shout, you will look and not find the things that, that have stood as mountains for you again. Are you ready now? I will call the number and you will shout hallelujah. One. Two, three, four, 
Five. Six. Are you ready now? Seven. Every high thing must come down. Every stronghold shall be broken. You wear the victor's crown. You overcome. has tied everyone here by the power that raised Christ from the dead be loose now be loose now be loose now I lose every chain I lose every chain ancestral chains chains of darkness chains of limitation I command be loose right now in the name of Jesus Christ I'm declaring because that's what I saw in the spirit chains I'm still saying it again I don't know what has tied your hands a symbol of your productivity your feet a symbol of your motion but in the name of Jesus by the power that raised Christ from the dead that chain be broken right now that chain be broken right now be broken right now be broken right now, be broken right now. Be broken right now. Hallelujah. Listen. Every time your hands are bound and your feet is bound, even though you have eyes, you have a mind to think, you will not be able to make progress. I'm about to pray again. The binding of your hand and your feet is a prophetic statement because there are some of you you've been unable to move forward. Some of you have been unable to be productive. I pray right now. I don't know who I'm speaking to, but I speak as one sent of God. Every spirit that has tied you, everything that has bound you, release them now. Release them now. Release them now. Release them now. Release them now in the name of Jesus. I declare be released right now. Be released right now. And every family that has been bound, you came here bound not understanding what is the mystery behind the hardship and the occurrences in your family in the name of Jesus the son of the living God I declare you are released this moment 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 The Lord is asking me to break covenants. A covenant is a legal agreement that binds people and binds territories and binds families. When it has to do with dominion over covenants, that is the ministry of the blood. The blood that speaketh better things than the blood of Abel. Can I pray for you? In the name of Jesus, any family here and any individual who is under covenants of ancestry, Covenants that lead to poverty, covenants that bind people. At the count of three, I want you to shout, Jesus, that fire will come upon you and that covenant must be broken. Are you ready? One, two, three, shout, Jesus. Be free by the blood of Jesus. Help them, please. Be free, my God. Be free. Be free. Be free. Be free. Be free from every covenant, every ordinance, every covenant.
covenant. I say it again, be free. Covenants are powerful. They can tie men and tie destinies. Please bring them out. Demonic covenants holding people down. Listen, whether you come from the north, I'm still praying. Whether you come from the south, can I tell you, every territory has covenants. Regardless the territory, I'm prophesying to you right now. Every territory that is connected to the soil of where you come from, the Aparakos Ketebatasiata, that has tied down your life in the name of Jesus Christ, by the blood of the eternal covenant, let that covenant be broken now. Be broken now. Be broken now. Hear me. I have taught you here. How do you know the presence of a covenant? The presence of a covenant is tested by the existence of patterns. The existence of patterns. It is happening to your brother. It is happening to your sister. It is happening to your father. The moment you see a repetition of patterns, I'm praying for someone again. Everything you have seen, maybe with your father, your mother, it is now happening to you. Lack of progress, lack of jobs, barrenness, unfruitfulness. I declare, let it break now. 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 Every covenant that is not of God. I like you to shout this after me. Say in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare by the blood of the eternal covenant. Every covenant tying my life, tying my family by the blood. It is broken now. Open your mouth and pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, it is broken. Thus far have you come, no further shall you go. In the name of Jesus, broken by the blood of the eternal covenant, every negative covenant, covenants of disfavor, covenants of unfruitfulness, covenants of retrogression, it is broken. Someone pray. Open your mouth and pray in one minute. Spirits of ancestry, demonic manifestations in dreams. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. Now hear me, I want to take the time to pray for the sick, but can I tell you this? I said it, I don't know if it was last year or this year, that I saw an onslaught of sickness that God wants to restore the healing anointing again. And I'm going to do an impartation of that in the course of the service. But listen, whether you are sick or not, you are going to pray. And in this prayer, you are going to announce to the realm of the spirit that this body is touched not. Listen, I was having a discussion with our medical people whilst visiting them i think it was uh, day before yesterday and we're just having discussions and you cannot imagine how many healthy people someone for instance can be aa and all of a sudden maybe preparing for marriage they can go for test and you will see another report and wonder where it came from can i tell you if you keep quiet over your body the devil will cut short your life someone shout it say in the name of jesus i declare that this body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. I declare that this body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. Every planting of sickness and infirmity leave now. Open your mouth and pray. Every planting of infirmity, 
every sickness go ahead and pray that devil must leave your body now pray that cancer out pray that hiv out by the power of the holy ghost pray that arthritis out pray that blood disease out in the name of jesus oh i will not die i cause that devil in the name of jesus christ that blood infection you leave this body migraines you leave this body hepatitis you leave this body someone is praying rheumatoid arthritis tumors growths we cost you by the god of heaven hallelujah 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 do you know no matter how no matter how medically conscious you are there are many people who carry all kinds of sicknesses and diseases and do not even know and then some of them are not a medical situation so you go and use your machines to do all your diagnosis and it shows that you are perfectly fine yet the patient is telling you i know that there is something wrong we are going to pray one more time before i begin to pray for the sick i don't know about you but the fullness of my days i will spend and no devil of darkness I don't care whether they say it's hereditary it came from your father your mother open your mouth and cast it out of your life ladies pray gentlemen pray no cancer no prostrate open your mouth and pray i decree and declare in the name of jesus the son of the living god it will not come not by age not because you are giving birth no reject it in the name of jesus health is my portion in the name of jesus health is my portion the fullness of my days i fulfill Hallelujah. 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 I still want to pray. Now I want you to bring this set of people out to join these ones. I'm going to pray. The Lord is showing me something. I just saw written bad luck. You know what bad luck is? We call it bad luck. But in the kingdom, it is disfavor. But I saw the name bad luck. There are many people, it works for others until it gets to your turn. And mysteriously, I want to rebuke that spirit. Believe me, there is a spirit behind the circles of disfavor. It looks like things don't just work in your life. And I saw the power of God coming on many people. I decree and declare right now. If there is anybody, some of you are standing in for the sake of your families. Any family here that is wept in this orchestration of disfavor, we call it bad luck. At the count of three, let that fire rest upon you and let deliverance come upon you. One, two, three, be delivered now. I curse that spirit. Be delivered now. Be delivered now. Be delivered now. Be delivered now that wicked spirit let it leave you now and even your families by the power of the holy ghost hallelujah you see as we sojourn in life as we sojourn in life i have taught you and i will teach you again and again 
the forces that are at work in your life negatively or positively that is what controls the outcomes that are in your life if you carry for instance the force of favor imagine the kinds of physical things that will happen to you and then if you carry this kind of wicked forces of disfavor imagine what happens to you it is not the physical occurrences they are only responding to something in the realm of the spirit that is upon you or around you negatively or positively hallelujah negatively or positively I'm saying it again bad luck that spirit that has followed anyone here and is following anyone online there are even people abroad you may think it's supposed to be an edge and an advantage but these same forces have followed them and rubbish their life and their dignity of living in the name of Jesus the son of the living God be set free now be set free now be set free now Hallelujah. Be set free now. The Lord is showing me a family. What I see in my vision, I'm seeing five of you. Nobody has a job. You are graduates. No job. Who is that person? I want to pray for you. Please make sure you hear the prophetic word. Don't just jump out. Listen attentively. Please come out. I want to pray for you. Who is that? Come. Graduates, five, no job. Huh? Five boys, no work, sir. Five boys, boys yes, sir. graduates, graduate, sir. No, job. no job. Where are you from? I'm from Quara State, sir. Quara State. Yes, sir. You believe in the power of God? Yes, sir. I want to pray for you. Yes, sir. Listen. There's power in the name of Jesus, so don't get used to pain. Believe me, there is power in the name of Jesus. Oh, you came with your certificate? Yes, sir. Yeah. Look at this here, sir. I, I'm, this, I'm not getting you. This is my NYC certificate, sir. Oh, this is your NYC certificate. Look don't don't my worry, God. my brother. God has located you. Now, you imagine, ladies and gentlemen, five people, graduates, and then no job because of how demonic the devil can be sitting on the destinies of people you think it is a coincidence let me use them as a point of contact to pray for someone here every spirit that has vowed that shame must remain with you in the name that is above all names as i'm praying for them i'm praying for you let that closed door be open now be open now help them be open now be open now in the name of Jesus Christ hear me I declare by prophecy here supernatural jobs for you now you imagine watch this now imagine for instance this our dear brother five boys you imagine that you are the father or the mother now you've given birth to children let's assume you did not make the most with your own life you are hoping and trusting that in your lifetime that these children will become sons of consolation like the Bible will call them. Five of them. No job. You may be saying, Apostle, we are two. Even if you are the only one, I declare in the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God, hear me by prophecy, wherever your job is, in this nation or around the world, may my God locate you. May my God locate you. Mama, may my God locate your children. And for all of you who have come out for this word, I stretch my hands and I declare, the same way you have come out, that is how you will come and stand here to testify. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. There is someone, you have a brother who passes out. I don't know what they call it medically. Like the person is it's like fainting, but the person just passes out like that. Who is that person? I want to pray for you very quickly. Come. Where is he? Huh? He's in Jabi. I wanted him to come 
the boy didn't come. He couldn't come. No I problem. You stand for him. He passes out. Yes, sir. How how frequent? So recently it happened five times in one day. I'm seeing a lady coming too. And then he bleeds from his mouth. And then he bleeds from his yes. mouth. How about you, my dear? Discipler. He passes out. Your discipler. Yeah. I want to pray for you. When God reveals, it is because his power has gone ahead to bring an end to that tragedy. Remember, there was once a gentleman in the Bible who had suffered epilepsy. The Bible says he will fall in the midst of fire. Do you know what that means? Imagine if this person wants to cross the road and that demonic thing happens. You can lie down there at the junction. You see, the key to opening your heart in a meeting like this is to have a heart of sympathy and compassion. Don't wait. You have to put yourself in the shoes of others to feel what happens when God gives a prophetic word. Even if it is not a word for you, you know. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands over you, your disciple and your brother, using you both as points of contact for as many who are releasing their faith. I don't know what demonic walking is this that makes you or your loved ones to pass out, but by the blood of the eternal covenant, that tragedy, that occurrence comes to a permanent end now. In the name of Jesus Christ, comes to a permanent end now comes to a permanent end now in the name of Jesus I'm seeing someone um, the Lord is asking me to pray for you you are a policeman but this is tragedy over your family it's like nothing is happening I, I, I this is this is this is what the Holy Spirit is revealing to me you didn't wear your uniform to work but you are a policeman I don't know who that person is. If there is such a person, you are a policeman. Where are you from, sir? I am. I serve in Abuja here, but I'm from Benue State. I want to pray for you. You believe in Jesus? I do. I believe in Jesus. I believe. I believe. Lord, I believe. Lord, I believe. I believe, I believe, Lord, I believe. Sir, the power of God is coming on you, this man, this officer. I'm seeing a spirit behind you. I know you are a policeman, but let me pray for you now. In the name of Jesus. I command that spirit. This thing is not even just the spirit of tragedy. It's even the spirit of death. I decree and declare, sir, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, be free from it right now. I'm seeing it again. The spirit of death. This man is a police officer. In the name of Jesus, be free right now. You are a police officer too? From where, sir? Kaduna State, sir. I want to pray for you. Will you be embarrassed if I talk to you? No, sir. There is a spirit from where you come from. Huh? And I know this and I agree because, respectfully speaking, this is not just a regional thing. This is not just from where you come from. There are many other states that have that tragedy. The person who rises up ends up dying. Is that true? This is true. Yes, I sir. need to pray for you because like this man, I'm seeing the spirit of death. I'm not a prophet of doom. Yes, That's why I said, will you be embarrassed if I talk to you? And this thing I'm seeing is like an armed robbery operation. And then something happened and then like being shot or something. I want to pray for you. There is nothing you cannot do. If you have said it, then you will do it. Ha. My friend, how long have you been in the police force? Two years, sir. Will you believe another thing if I tell you? Yes, sir. You are not going to be in the police force for too long. I'm seeing that God is, you are going to be a great entrepreneur. And God is, this is what I'm, please, listen. Every prophecy I give you, 
is subject to your partnership with God. But this is what I'm telling you. Go and write it. You are going to do something that has not been done in your family. I'm telling you this. Because now there's, there's no profession. There's nothing wrong with any profession. But in your heart, this is not really what you want to do. Huh? And this is even affecting your productivity because you are just there and something is telling you, do not feel bad. You were there for a reason. There are many times that God passes us through things. If Joseph did not get into the well and Potiphar's house, he would not appreciate sitting at the throne. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you. Let the grace that lifts men, let the grace that helps men rise, may that grace rest upon you. In the name of Jesus, and I pray for you, you will not die. You will not be a victim of tragedy by the power that raised Christ from the dead. In the name of Jesus, I pray. I'm hearing a name, Rosaline. 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 I believe that's a female name. Rosaline. Is there someone with that name? I just want to pray for you very quickly. If there's someone, Rosaline, who is that? Please, if you are... If you are the one, don't waste our time so that we'll pray quickly. Rosaline. That's your name? The name your parents gave you? Yes, sir. You're Rosaline too? I want to pray for you. Now, don't come out. I want to pray, but something surprising will happen now. There is a lady here. The spirit that follows you, only married men look for you. A responsible man who loves Jesus and is born again it looks like there's something that always I'm not saying you should come out you are not these are not part of Rosaline is what I'm calling now this one I'm praying but the power of God wherever you are this I'm seeing this this lady you have cried to God you are a nice lady and you have said Lord take away this reproach from my life I'm praying right now the anointing of the Spirit wherever you are that anointing is locating you the spirit that brings only married men who have no business coming to talk to you and they seem to come and bother you and disturb you in the name of Jesus Christ. Please help them. I declare right now that curse that is upon you, let it be broken. Let it be broken now. Let it be broken now. Let it be broken now. Rosaline, let me pray for you. There's one of you, the Lord is taking away this thing about death again. One of you standing here, the power of God is coming on you. This is the manifestation of the spirit of death. Lord, in the name of Jesus, anyone here who has been trapped by this demonic manifestation, release them now. Release them now. In the name of Jesus Christ, we declare upon you, you will not die. And everything that has kept your family bound, I am prophesying to you, Rosaline, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, go and excel. I release you to go and excel. In the name of Jesus. We we'll have to be very fast. There is, I'm seeing a gentleman here. This is a pattern that has happened. You never do well academically once. I'm seeing you have written Wayek. I'm seeing the number six. This is six times and you have still not made your papers. I don't know who that person is. Is there someone like that or maybe your brother or so? Please, let's hurry up. I'm, I'm only speaking because God himself is revealing this case to me and I have to obey and honor God. Else I would have just spoken over the person and then we continue. Wayek, I'm seeing six times. You've written or is it someone related to you and you've not been able to make your paper at all? This is a pattern. It looks like your, your siblings or people in your family, they don't seem to be able to excel in one sitting. Whether the person is inside or outside, um, if, if for distance you cannot make it, let me just know so I just speak a word and then we continue because I want to pray over the sick. In the name of Jesus, wherever that person is, I stand by the God of heaven and I declare the next exam you write by the power of prophecy we push you to the other side of victory help them in the name of Jesus I cast that spirit right now out of him in the name of Jesus out of him right now 
From the rising of the sun to the setting of the same. Hold on, hold on. You are a businessman. You are into construction materials. Who is that? I need to pray for you. I'm seeing a demonic spirit just hijacking your finances. And the Lord is saying to release that person. Building construction of that sort. Please make sure you don't, don't tell lies. Come out. This is the house of God. Jesus Christ is here. Who is that person? I want to pray for you. Thank you for coming out. I want to pray for you. Listen, the Lord calls like this because you cannot be empowered by the strength of the flesh. One prophetic word you see can open a door of opportunities. I know what prophecy can do. Remember I told you the forces that make the promises of God at work in our lives? This world is too wicked to just depend on sentiments. You can't sit down depending on the day. I'm hoping that somebody who becomes a governor or a chairman house committee on something, if he's my person, he will help me. That's a risk, a, a very bad risk. But let me pray for you. I don't mean to embarrass you. I'm only obeying God. I will not call your name and I will not point you. But there's one of you here, I, I pray that the mercy of God will speak over you. Um, you have cheated people, you have cheated people a lot. You have done a lot of things you should not do. And I need to pray the mercy of God for you. You see, if you want to do business, we are believers. Do business with the integrity, the, the dignity of kingdom integrity. This is what I'm seeing. Don't come and cheat and defraud people and do a lot of things. Cut corner. A bag of cement is 10 naira. You say it's 1,000. And then you want the blessing of God. God is not a herbalist. The Bible says that you lay iniquity far from you. Is that true? And then you shall be built up. You will lay gold as dust, even the dust of offer. Now, I'm not condemning you. The Lord just ministered to me. But I want to pray for you. I truly believe in supernatural empowerment. Empowerment by the Spirit. Some of you, for many years, jobs have not come for you. You have done all you need to do. It is vain to wake up in the morning and to sleep late in the night, only to eat the bread of sorrow. But the Bible says he gives his beloved sleep. I stretch my hands over you. God who has located you by the mercy of God, I declare three months from now, beginning from now, March ending, I prophesy to you by the power that raised Christ from the dead, between now and the next three months, may God surprise you. Between now and the next three months, I declare strange doors for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, supernatural doors by the Spirit. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen and amen. I want to pray for you. There is somebody who traveled. You are a visitor. You came here from Cameroon. Please go back to your seat. Where are you? Cameroon. The Lord is speaking to me. I want to pray for you. Cameroon. You came from Cameroon. I'm not saying you are a Nigerian. You live in Cameroon. You came, you came particularly for this. You are from Cameroon. My friend, you are from Cameroon. You came for this program. Bermanda. Bermanda or Bermanda. Who is from there? I'll pray for you. All of you are from Bermenda. How do I look at all of you and know that you are from the same place? What is the probability of getting it right? That all of you are from Bermenda. In the name of, I've never even been there. I've just been to um, Douala and uh, Yaoundé. That's, that's all. But in the name of Jesus Christ, for one of you, you see dead people when you sleep dead people they keep manifesting where's that person lift your hands i want to pray for you because the living and the dead have nothing in common 
I want to, I'm using them, look, as I'm praying for them, I want you to release your faith because some of you, what is happening to them is happening to you. Any dead body that will not let you rest, coming to disturb you, listen, even if it's your relative, the living and the dead are, are separated. There is the spirits of just men made perfect. That is not what is happening to you. This one is a demonic oppression. As I pray for these ones, every covenant anyone has with the dead, in the name of Jesus, let it be broken now. Broken now. Let it be broken now. In the name of Jesus. My dear people from Cameroon, I stretch my hands to you. In the name that is above all names, you came here by the Spirit. Every issue of concern that brought you here to travel all the way, return back with your testimonies supernaturally return back with your testimonies in the name of Jesus Christ can we pray for the sick now please I want you to lay your hands if you came here with a sick person by the way let me use this opportunity to just make a quick announcement now we thank God for what God is doing in and through us as a ministry but just for the sake of proper coordination if you come with anyone, whether for the miracle service or any service that has um, issues, maybe like mental health or any kind of psychosomatic condition, please do well to let our medical people know alongside our security operatives so that we will guide and manage them. You notice a few occurrences have happened in the last few weeks and some of these people are sincere people either being delivered or people who already have traces of um, mental health like the lady last week or so so these are sincere people and we owe it to help them and but please do well so that whilst we are trusting God for their healing we don't want a situation where they harm or hurt other people there are children here there are adults here there are other people who are sick managing their health there are people here who are very fragile health wise and it will be wise to know that if you have someone who has come with any kind of particular aggression, do well to let the medical team know and let the security operatives know so that we'll keep them in a place where we have watchful eyes over them so that we stop some of these things because um, some of the security people that work here work professionally. So once they apprehend people, we have to submit to their way of professionally dealing with the matter. So we do not want a situation where anyone comes to church and now you have to go to the police station or respond to any security concern is that fine let's lay our hands where we are trusting god for healing holy holy glory to the lamb glory And expect a miracle right now whether is a malignant growth that is already expressing itself as cancer I want you to release your faith and this is where we pray for those who are connecting from hospitals I remain humbled that many hospitals connect our services so that their patients whether by way of phone or whatever means you are following from any hospital right now or any family or watching across the globe and you are sick in your body here's your chance to experience the healing power of Jesus I see some of you lifting the photos or maybe connecting your loved ones go ahead and release your faith lay your hands where you are trusting God for a miracle you can stand in for someone if it's a part of your body you cannot touch 
you can just make contact with your chest. I want to pray for you. I want to rebuke blood diseases. I want to rebuke just, just, I want you to be sensitive. The power of God is moving to heal. I want to rebuke eye conditions. I want to rebuke spine conditions and all kinds of cellular deformities that are destroying people right now, blood conditions, your hair falling, bone problems, already formations of arthritis, half of you is beginning to get weak and heavy, you are losing sensations across several parts of your body. This is what the Lord is showing me, losing sensations. I'm seeing others who are having severe growths across several parts of your body, growths that are becoming embarrassing across several parts of your body and you're trusting God for a miracle. I'm seeing a woman hold a child. I think that the child does not walk. This is what I'm seeing in my vision. I don't know if you're watching by way of internet or maybe you're somewhere you are holding a child. I'm seeing a child that I don't know whether it's, it's an epileptic child or something like that. But in the name of Jesus Christ, lay your hands right now and I want to rebuke that sickness. Healing is a children's bread. In Zion, there is healing. Now here's what will happen. As I begin to rebuke that spirit, remember what I taught you? I want you to begin to do what you could not do. If you could not walk, as I begin to rebuke this sickness, I want you to begin to take steps of faith and see if it's possible for you to lift your limbs and to walk. You could not see as I pray for you. You begin to check your eyes. You could not hear as I pray for you. You have some kind of heaviness. You couldn't move any part of your body. Make sure that while I pray, you check yourself. And the moment you find out that a miracle has happened to you, begin to rejoice and celebrate with the Lord. And then if I do give an opportunity, we'll have very few people so that we don't prolong our stay unnecessarily. We'll have a few people come so that we can have one or two people testify. But let me pray now. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God, I stretch my hands right now. Father, thousands of people gathered here on this ground and thousands others following from across the globe. There are many right now who if you do not heal them, they are going to die. There are many people right now who are already at stage four, maybe cancer, there are many right now who are victims of blood diseases and all kinds of infirmities. But the Bible tells us that by your stripes we have been healed. Therefore, in the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands. Every spirit of infirmity that is back of any disease, any sickness, I command you, leave God's people now. I command you, leave God's people now. I command you leave God's people now I decree and declare right now in the name of Jesus there is someone God is healing you cough out blood you cough out and you find out that you are spitting blood in the name of Jesus the power of God is touching you every blood condition here represented be healed in Jesus name be healed in Jesus name HIV be healed in Jesus name hepatitis be healed in Jesus name leukemia be healed in Jesus name I decree and declare anyone who has any spine problem I command the power of God touches you right now in Jesus name bone conditions you could not work or you could not work well because of a problem with your bones, the life and the power of Jesus touches you right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. There's someone severe pain. You have very, very severe pain at the back of your neck. Very severe pain. The power of God is touching you right now. Bringing you supernatural perfection in the name of Jesus every eye condition here be healed in Jesus name 
anybody who could not walk in the name of Jesus I declare that strength comes to your limbs to begin to walk now in the mighty and matchless name of Jesus any part of your body you could not move I declare begin to move it now liberty of expression comes for you begin to move it now in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ there is someone you had a dream and it's like they poured something on your head from that time you are not particularly sick but there is movement physical movement you keep feeling physical movement like an object is moving around your head I decree and declare right now let that demonic occurrence come to an end and for everyone you are standing for I'm seeing several of you lifting your phones lifting photos in the name of Jesus right here I'm praying that the power of God will touch those people wherever they are for those who are connecting from any hospital in the name of Jesus I speak to those people supernatural healing and recovery happens for you now healing and recovery happens for you now there's someone you came here feeling you literally could feel like a big mast around your stomach area the moment I'm done praying I want you to check yourself you will find out that that demonic thing is gone in the mighty name of Jesus Christ there's someone the Lord is showing me if I don't pray for you you're going to lose a lot of your teeth you have a situation I don't know what is called maybe a cavity problem that is is making maybe some kind of bacterial or fungal problem that is making your teeth to be weak and almost to, to, to rot or something like that is is produced intense order from you and you've gone to the hospital from what I'm seeing in the name of Jesus Christ may the power of God touch you right now may the power of God touch you right now the Lord is asking me to pray for a little boy he's not a baby but he's a little boy the boy acts like someone who is autistic hyperactivity I mean he can be very hyperactive like the strength of many people I declare calmness comes for that boy right now in the name of Jesus Christ any lump and any growth in any part of your body in the name of Jesus I command those growths to disappear and hear me I don't know but I'm hearing colon cancer colon cancer in the name of Jesus if there is anybody whether here or connecting across the world whether you are aware of it or not in the name of Jesus we cause those cells they die from your body they die from your body I'm seeing someone you are unable to move your fingers you're unable to move your fingers without pain but in the name of Jesus after this prayer you'll be able to move your fingers with no pain now whether I mentioned your case or not I'm seeing someone's a grandmother the spirit of death wants to take that woman I'm seeing sickness a grandmother with what I'm seeing if we don't pray that person may not survive up to a month a grandmother father by your mercy wherever that woman is I declare life and healing for her right now life and healing for her right now life and healing for her right now in the name of Jesus the Lord is asking me to pray I'm praying for the sick you don't have to come out I want to speak um, this is a woman you get pregnant but you are never able to pass three months and it looks like you have to lose that pregnancy no matter what happens you have to lose that pregnancy in the name of Jesus I am praying I don't know where that woman is maybe your sister your wife your auntie anyone connecting in the name that is above all names that plague of losing pregnancy comes to an end may the next pregnancy be the one that will lead to your children in the mighty name of Jesus now whether I mention your case or not in the name of Jesus the son of the living God be healed be healed and I did not speak about people with madness any kind of madness you see this mental health demonic thing again I command let your sanity be restored now 
in the mighty name of Jesus I pray now hear me we're going to do two things very quickly I want you to check yourself let's have even if it's just two three testimonies to glorify Jesus check yourself the moment you find out that a miracle has happened whilst you were under the anointing whilst I prayed I want you to do what you could not do you find out that a miracle has happened very quickly I want you to come forward very quickly there is a gentleman check yourself you will find out that the mast you came with a very strong mast around your stomach it's gone right now please if you need to go to the medical stand why don't you go to the medical stand and check but check yourself you'll find out it's gone completely and let's have a few people God has healed people don't sit back make your way to the front so that we'll have one or two testimonies let's celebrate them those who are coming from outside please make sure you allow them come you are coming out to testify make your way to the front right now check yourself let's have one or two testimonies to the glory of the name of the Lord people are coming are you celebrating miracles now while that is happening I hope you've written your prayer request how many of you have your prayer request wave it and let me see if you are yet if you are yet to write your prayer request let's celebrate those who are coming the Lord is touching several people ushers please quickly Complete your prayer request right now and pass it to the last person by your left or right and the ushers will be there to pick it. We have to speak over your requests in the name of Jesus Christ. Whilst you are sitting there, I'd like you to begin to pray in the spirit. Pray in the spirit. No idle moment. Pray in the spirit. And for those who are connecting by way of the internet, you have been touched by God, you have been healed. I'd like you to forward your testimonies. In the name of Jesus and our media people will have it. Our PR lines are open. Jesus is touching people right now. We'll take a few. Um, all the requests, once we have them, please let's bring them forward very quickly so that we can celebrate what the Lord is doing. Hallelujah. You're ready, sir? Yes, sir. Go ahead. Please listen for these testimonies. So, Apostle, she came in here. Um, she had a surgery and I can still see this car. You had a surgery? Yes, three weeks back. Three weeks back? Yes. What happened to you? I had an accident then. So one of the leg, uh, two was out. One of the legs? My two. One Your of, toe? Yes. Oh. So all of a sudden, the legs started swelling up. Yes. So I had a surgery. Yes. Like, I think, three weeks back. Okay. So I came. I cannot move the leg. Oh, you could not move your neck? Yes. Move it now. Me. Koinonia, look at this. Let's celebrate Jesus. She had a surgery and could not move her neck. In the name of Jesus Christ, it will never return to you again by the power of the Holy Spirit. Shout a loud amen. amen. Go ahead. Let's listen to our father. I have been having neck, you know, pains behind my neck. Yes, sir. You know, sometimes the thing will come down, sometimes it will come up. Yes. As soon as Apostle mentioned neck pain, sharp neck pain, the thing disappeared. Completely. Time. Check yourself, sir. Look at this. Completely, Completely gone. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes, it will never return to you again, Daddy, in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's celebrate our Father. Yes, please, very quickly. I, I have been having severe neck pain. Neck pain also. Severe neck pain. As you mentioned my case, and also hepatitis B. Hepatitis B. Yes, as you mentioned my case, the severe neck pain just left it. Completely. And I believe God hepatitis In the name of Jesus, the same God who did it for your neck, we declare that it happens over hepatitis. It leaves your body right now. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen and amen. Very quickly, let's listen to our Father. Daddy, go ahead. I visited my daughter here. Yes, sir. And she looked at me and I told her that I have the neck pain here and that I have done, I've gone for uh, x ray. Yes, sir. And they told me I have cervical spondinosis. And so she laid hands upon me and prayed. After she has prayed, I began to feel much better. Yes. And now that I came here, a person I said, take neck pain, the healing is permanent. Yeah. Hallelujah. Can you imagine that? In the name of Jesus, Daddy, we decree and declare it will not return to you again. And may God bless that your wonderful daughter. That's how children should be. They should not cause pain and trouble for parents. In the name of Jesus, sir, we bless you and we bless your home. You go and return with testimonies. 
in Jesus' name. Yes, please. Good evening, Cornelia. As one of my cousin's sister, she took in for three months. So as I came to this program, then she now called me early in the morning that until I wake up, I started seeing blood. I said, that table will not took away that pregnant. As I came to this program, I believed the God of my father, which is called Apostle Jesus Salima. When the prayer was going, she now called me that until I not see blood again. Oh, she I called said, you. Yes, sir. The blood dried up. The blood dried up. Yes, sir. In the name of Jesus, we declare she will give birth full time. In the name of Jesus Christ. And for you who are stood in for her, may God bless you. Reproach is far from your life forever. In the name of Jesus. Yes, let me take a few. Apostle, yeah. you gave me a word of knowledge of someone who had a dream that something was poured on her head. Yes. She said she had the dreams four days ago. And then since then, she has been having severe headache. She came here with the headache, but as she gave that word of prophecy, the headache is It's gone forever. In the name of Jesus, it will not return to you again, my dear. Yes, please. He had an accident last year, December, and broke his right I mean, thumb. Yes. And then this year again, while he was working, the second thumb got broken too. So he couldn't move there. But as you were praying, the power of God came upon him. Check yourself now. now. Are you celebrating what God is doing? Look at this. He had an accident. It will never return to you again in the name of Jesus. Yes, please, very quickly. These are long cases of uh, neck pain, back pain. You now, hold on. I have knowledge. taught you here that once you begin to see certain repetitive occurrences, it is not just a miracle. There is a sign. There's something God is saying. You see, your neck is what connects the head and the body. Are we together now? And it is the neck that grants access to mobility. You see that? Once, once your neck is having a problem, you are stagnated, you are unable to move. You see that. So once you see these things happening, it's not just neck problems. These are no coincidences. They are a message that the Holy Spirit is speaking. That whatever is limiting you from it, your movement, that you cannot move to the left and the right, that limitation is broken from your life right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. So these are long cases of and back and neck pain. In the name the of Jesus, every back, every neck pain, I declare even as you have come out, you will return back with your testimonies perfected. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. For 12 years, he couldn't stand straight. You but couldn't now. stand straight? Yes, sir. For how long? For 12 How years. were you before now? Slightly like this. And now? During the prayers, I just started adjusting. Ben, Ben, look at this. Bend to the back and see. 12 years. Remember the woman with the issue of blood? 12 years. In the name of Jesus, everything that has not been straight in your life, the Lord is straightening it right now. Shout a loud amen. amen. The Lord perfects you, my friend, in Jesus' name. Yes, sir. Pastor Jakes. For Inonia, I'm here once again for a testimony. Straight to the point. Throughout last week, the, my best sitting place was the floor in the office because of back pain. So when I came here, I was praying to God, God, don't allow me to go back with this back pain. To the glory of God, after the prayers, I check myself. Do what you couldn't do before. What couldn't you do? You couldn't bend. Look at this. Bend. Koinonia. I Celebrate. Bend, the... I find it okay, you couldn't bend properly. Yes. Now check yourself. In the name of Jesus, it will never return to you by the power of the Holy Spirit. Let's have two or three and then so, we're done. Yes, sir. All right, sir. Praise the Lord. Uh, this is a breast, breast lump. She had a lump, sir. Breast lump. Had a lump, yes. Oh my pain, God. Severe pain. Yes. So that for how long, ma? It's like uh, let's say three weeks or a month. Okay. So, but when they said came, very severe uh, pain. I remember I used to put uh, your uh, yes uh, message every yeah. midnight. Yes. I said the the devil that came made a mistake because that message I put in the midnight used to drive even tenant wicked one out of my house. I said. What of this particular one now that I know that uh, Apostle message can even heal me? That's what I have in my mind. I went to hospital, I came back, but... Mama, what th happened now? Yeah. Yeah. Three, three or four days. Yes. As I, I was putting that your message in, uh, in midnight. Yes, ma'am. I ma started touching the, the whole place. I couldn't feel it. It's gone. And the pain that is, I'm still feeling small pain during the prayer now. Yes. Here. I lay hand nothing like pain. Completely. The Lord will perfect your body 
and bring good tenants to your house Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let's celebrate, Amen. Mama. So, Next well, person. Well, Apostle, for these ones, I've chosen not to punish myself. Yes, sir. So I invite doctor to come and... <laughs> doctor, please talk to us. Good evening, Daddy. Yes, sir. Okay, so for the two of them, basically they have um, kidney issues. Kidney? Um, yes. Wow. So for her, she said she had a medical condition. She couldn't really um, tell what exactly the medical condition was, but it involved her kidneys, and then she has been having pain by the side of her stomach for, okay. for over three years now, since um, 2021. Yes. Okay, but today, when you prayed, during the prayers and everything, she felt that pain. Gone. That pain is gone completely. Yes, daddy. And then for him too, similar kind, um, he had a kidney infection, um, we call it pyelonephritis. He has been treating over and over again, but still he didn't get his relief. He has been having pain for quite a while, but after today, after the prayers, the pain has gone. Wow. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for you by the power of the Holy Spirit, all of you with kidney problems, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, I declare perfection right now. You will never have a repetition of that situation in Jesus' name. Yes, please. So we have a few testimonies online. Okay, let's just have two or three very quickly. Daddy, this is Miriam writing all the way from UK. She says, I'm the one who Apostle said that has moving things around my head. After prayer, I have had this movement for three years now. I can feel, I cannot feel anything moving in my head. Completely. Praise God. Let's celebrate Jesus for her. This is from Alfred. I am testifying from Dubai, he says. Last two years in a dream, someone poured water on my head. And this caused m movements in my head. As Apostle gave the word of knowledge, I feel something breaking from my head. I am now free Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. This is an anonymous person connecting from Canada. The person says, I just received my healing. I was nursing back pain for months now. I could not bend well without pain. The pain has disappeared as Apostle prayed against back pain and spine conditions. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Now, um, for sake of time, okay, maybe we'll have that last one. Apostle, I, I, I had a, a pain on my head. Sometimes it will be as if a nail is being placed on my head. Yes. I came here with the pain. Immediately you made mention of it. It took It's off. gone completely. It will never return to you. For everyone who has been healed, we declare to Jesus be all the glory, and we declare that your healings remain permanent. Now, re remember that for any and every service at all, you are able to register your testimony even during the week. Our PR lines function ev every time, all day. And then you can reach through our media lines, register your testimony. We'll be glad to take some of the testimonies on Sunday. Hallelujah. Please rise. I know you have tried, but stretch your hands as we pray over these requests. Remember, your request is here represented. If there are still others, please bring them very quickly. Begin to make declarations of faith that in the name of Jesus Christ, the Egyptians I see today, I see them no more forever. Someone is praying. I see them no more forever. Stagnation gone forever. Retrogression gone forever. Someone is praying. Joblessness gone forever. Rising, falling, gone forever. Repetitive patterns gone forever. Are you stretching your hands to pray? In the name of Jesus, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, we declare that this request, make sure you pray. Remember we said prayer is a force that can help you make manifest the promises of God. Make sure you are making declarations of faith. As I lay my hands upon your request, the anointing of the Spirit is touching every request. Touching every request, regardless the region, regardless the problem, I'm releasing the anointing upon this request and prophesying to you that you will receive testimonies. Everyone pray. Everyone pray. We are declaring even by the Spirit. Prosperity for families, healings for sick bodies, supernatural jobs supernatural fruitfulness marriages doors of marriages and fruitfulness opened in the name of jesus financial opportunities 
restorations of health, accelerations, personal revival, corporate revival, we declare by the blood in the name of Jesus Christ. I like you to shout amen. amen. Father, I decree and I declare right now that every request here represented, these are expressions of the faith of your people and in the name of Jesus, I place an anointing on every one of these requests. May they be turned this moment to your testimonies. May they be turned this moment to your testimonies. Some of you beginning from tonight, you start picking these testimonies. For someone here, it will be for you like the Bible said, when the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion. Honestly, it will be like a dream for you. I prophesy it so in the name of Jesus. And any agent of darkness that says over my dead body for this request to be answered, I decree and declare may the God of vengeance arise for your sake. Every human agent that must come into partnership with the realm of the spirit to make for answers, I declare in the name of Jesus beginning from tonight, may the Lord not give them rest until they respond to you. In the name of Jesus, by the power of the name of Jesus, by the anointing of the spirit, I declare this request blessed, they return to you as answers. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Yes. Give Jesus a big hand clap. Now let me speak finally over your life as we wrap up the service. Remember I told you prophecy is a force. It's a force that reprograms possibilities in your life. In the name of Jesus, as you enter the month of April, I speak over your life. Everything you have seen from January till now that is not what you prayed for, is not what you agreed with God for, it dies with March right now. Yeah. Hallelujah. I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit, whatever represents shame, reproach, and stagnation, after this miracle service, you will see them no more. Can I declare favor upon your life? In the name of Jesus, I call upon Ebenezer, the helper of men, the one who can open doors, granting you unusual kindness from men, unusual access and unusual acceptance. May that grace come upon you now. Hear me, you are a man of God here. I release grace upon you. Go back and do ministry at another level of impact. You are a businessman here. I prophesy upon your business, provided what you are doing is with integrity and is towards the building of men. I declare prosperity upon it. In the name of Jesus. I pray for every home here, any demonic spirit that is orchestrating to scatter any home here and cause troubles, we cause it right now in Jesus' name. For someone, my prophetic word for you for the month of April is good news. Good news. I say it again, good news. Good news, sounds, sounds of joy good news in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare where you have been weary and discouraged may the Lord console you with manifold testimonies everything that has fought your prayer life let it give up on you now everything that has fought your word study life let it give up on you now Everything that has fought your passion for the house of God, let it give up on you now. Koinonia, let me pray over your finances. I bless you with increase. Go and prosper. Go and experience increase. I prophesy acceleration. Go forward. 
go forward go forward my God will keep you from trouble and my God will keep you from troublemakers in the name of Jesus I place a mark of honor upon your life wherever you go to from tonight I pray that seasons of honor be scheduled towards you you shall not die but live and declare the works of the Lord the spirit of excellence is at work in you go and excel go and excel your children are blessed your spouse blessed your family members blessed your ministry blessed the works of your hands blessed in the name of Jesus Christ that by this time next week when you return back on Sunday you will return with sounds of joy and melody in the name of Jesus Christ thank you father wave your hands to Jesus as a sign of gratitude Lord we give you all the praise in Jesus mighty name we pray dearly beloved I hope you were blessed by this message do not keep the video to yourself share to as many as you can to help them bless check our home page for more of our messages subscribe to the channel comment on it like it see you on our next video bye pray 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 for your destiny the phase of development Lord grant me the discipline